Buzzing on social media, German wings. Several, several German wings pilots refused to fly on Wednesday, a day after one of the airline's flights crashed into the French Alps, killing 150 people. Hello, I'm Kate Hockey, and this is the 406. Here's what's happening across the state of Montana. When the group deciding which city will host the Big Sky Conference men's basketball tournament steps off the airplane Wednesday afternoon in Billings, at Billings Logan International Airport, they'll be greeted by, by a dozen graphics designed to make them smile. A player from each of the league's 12 basketball programs is featured on windows over the baggage claim area. The familiar faces will be among the first things conference officials take in. That and Central High Band and cheerleaders, which are among the official welcome, welcoming delegation. Billings is using a full court press to land the tournament. A Missoula, a Missoula transient accused of stabbing another man underneath the Reserve Street Bridge last month has denied a felony assault with a weapon charge in another misdemeanor probation violation. Glenn Harley Stevens pleaded not guilty Wednesday. According to court documents, victim Arthur Hawks narrowly escaped death after Stevens attacked and stabbed him in the bicep, chest, and groin. <clears throat> Galen Hawk, who accidentally shot his three-year-old nephew to death last fall, will wait six more weeks to be sentenced for negligent homicide. Hawk of St. Ignatius has had his sentencing continued to May 6th on Wednesday when attorneys told Lake County District Court Judge James Manley a, psych a psychological evaluation ordered as part of Hawk's pre-sentencing report had not been, been completed. Students around Montana will begin taking a new standardized test this week that will gauge how well they're meeting the Common Core standards. The shift marks a new era in high-stakes testing for Montana and the rest of the country but educators won't have much to compare the students' scores to. The new tests in reading and math are considered more difficult than those they replace. No longer will students be asked to answer multiple choice questions. Instead, their skills will be probed using open-ended problems that require students to think critically and explain their reasoning. Court-ordered settlements talk, settlement talks were scheduled for Wednesday in a mining dispute in which former Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer and others are seeking, seeking $10 million compensation over some mining claims. The claims, or mining rights, were condemned in a legal action brought by Spokane-based Mines Management Incorporated to make way for its proposed Mon Montanor silver and copper mine near Libby. Libby. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to the 406 video YouTube channel and leave us a comment. Have a great evening.